Good evening. I'm trying to see if uh, I'm even here. Okay. Uh, let me fix something real fast. I am alive and maybe loving it. Um, I have here a drink mate that I just got. I think it was maybe UPS today. I'm not even sure how it came. It was there when I got home. I'm going to unbox this and I'll need to stand up for this. So, this is like a soda stream, but it's advertised that it is uh, meant for juice or it can handle juice, whereas the soda stream makes no such claim. In fact, it says not to do that. But the drinks, mate, uh, can handle it, I guess, as long as it's not pulp, I guess. So, here we go. I normally don't even do reviews. I have done it on uh, this product right here. The Queen's, uh, Queen Sense um, uh, Vacuum Pop Coffee Maker. I have not done it on this. I kind of wanted to do uh, a review on my Virtuosa coffee grinder. I was just too anxious to open it up and get working with it. But uh, I'll try to do a review on this product here. Or mainly an unboxing and I'll see what I can do for a review real fast. It says, what will you sparkle next? <laughs> um, what other claims here? Carbonated drink maker. So it, it makes some claims that it can handle juice. In fact, that it's meant for it, really. Easily adds sparkle to water, juices, iced tea, cocktails, wine, and more. So I'm going to try to stand out of the way. I trust you can hear me. More warranty card. That's the top. And there it is. Uh, some other goodies in here. Some more paperwork. I think these are like instructions. How to use. Yep. Here's the bottle cap, I assume. Yay, so that's it for that. That's, that. This is the box that came in. Put that aside. Uh, lovely. I try not to just tear into things too much. To be careful what I'm doing. Although, I think that's a plastic bottle, so if I drop it, it's probably not the end of the world. Uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Bring this box back over here. Toss that in there. So I think you just kind of stand out of the way. Let's get this out of the way so I can do that a little better. It's my trash can. I live in a crowded space here. I think you can pull up on that. Yep. You know, I have done some research on this. Other YouTube videos. So here's the, the bottle. I'm going to go ahead and take that out of the plastic. I assume they want you to wash this before first use. I'm actually going to see if there's a hand wash bottle with soap and warm water. Never place a dishwasher. So it's not meant for the dishwasher. Well, I don't even need to review that they, or to look for that. They're always going to want you to, uh, to wash before first use. I'm going to go ahead and do that.
Excuse me while you uh, wait. Hope everybody had a really good day. I went pretty well. Normally not too talkative, I just kind of stick with playing instrumental music on my keyboard. Once in a while I'll have the idea that maybe I should do a review on a product. I don't do it, I don't do it too often. And I kind of navigated from Facebook to YouTube and stuff like that. Um, probably actually get me less of an audience, at least at first. And I don't know if I have any aspirations that my channel is going to grow. Um, but who knows? You know what happens when you put like Don dish soap in a bottle. It takes forever to get those last suds out of there. I'm not going to show you my sink because yes, it is full of half full of dishes. I have the audio coming from my Logi HD camera. <laughs> I don't know how good the audio is on that. I have it strung with a long cord to my MacBook. Long USB cable, I should say. So we're just about done washing this. So like I said, this drink mate, well I don't know if they'd want you to compare it to a soda stream, but it'd be the competition. This is, unlike soda stream, this has advertised as being able to, uh, to handle like or, or orange juice, no pulp though. Um, apple juice, pretty much any kind of juice, as long as it doesn't have pulp. Um, I am going to use it for pop, I won't lie, and I am going to use the Soda Stream, uh, at least to begin with. Now, when I ordered this off of Amazon, it I ordered the kind that came without the CO2 canister, but guess what? It is compatible with um, Soda Stream's CO2 canister. And I don't know if this requires washing right away or not. This is, uh, I think their patent that makes it possible right here. Because there's a slow release um, for the pressure that builds up. And that's why it's, it works better. Plus you can clean it. There, it comes off like that. Pops up for the release slowly. Or if you want to release something fast which you probably shouldn't do um, normally. You push, push the blue button for that. So this is cleanable. Looks like you can get in here, clean it. I don't know if it opens up any further. I, I know next to nothing about this. So wish me luck. I mean, I do know a little bit. I know if I want to put on the canister, I'm going to have to open the back and pop it in there or probably twist it in there. So yes, I did get the Soda Stream. This does sell its own. Uh, Drinkmate, I think, sells its own um, CO2 cylinder. I keep calling it a canister, and I probably will just keep calling it that. Uh, this is a 60 liter. I think they have a 60 liter and then a much smaller um, cylinder. So this for uh, Drinkmate. I'm not sure why you want a tiny, tiny cylinder. So I've got a, I've never used a soda stream, so I can't really compare it to that. I don't think I've even took a sip of soda stream pop before. But like I said, I did get uh, I just got a couple of flavors so far. I've got the uh, lemon lime 
which probably isn't going to be my first try. I'll probably go with the cola first. That sounds better to me. But I do like either one. It says 50% less sugar than regular soda. And you, you can look online and get other kinds of cola. But first I'll give, I'll give the soda stream a try. Uh, keep air room temperature shake before use. Um, I guess there's no high fructose corn syrup. And I doubt that drink drink mate's intention is that you're going to buy a soda stream <laughs> syrup but you know it's whatever you want to do they're probably more into the health aspects of uh and i probably will try a juice first um so yeah i think i should be more familiar with what i'm doing here right i am i better read the instructions i would imagine you have to twist that off Before first use hand wash water bottle in warm soapy water rinse. I did that. Wipe outside with a soft cloth to dry. Um, I guess I should do that. Never wash water bottle in dishwasher. Harsh chemicals will damage water bottle. Um, bottle cap. Works with 60 liter CO2 carbonator or 10 liter CO2 carbonator. So you got two sizes of the canister. 60 liter. CO2 carbonator or 10 liter. They didn't really seem to emphasize using their brand so much, but that they are available as far as I know, because I think I've seen the Drinkmate version. Maybe it's called iMate, I'm not really sure. But this here is called a Drinkmate. Um, No, only use specified CO2 carbonators and drink mate bottles. Never carbonated drink bottles empty or not completely attached. Now, as far as the bottle, it's only compatible with drink mate. So it's, this isn't going to work with a, a soda stream bottle. So here's how we put on the canister or cylinder. Remove back cover, yep, remove seal and twist off cap. I mean, I figured that. But you just, you know, you never know. Sometimes you do something dumb, and it's because you didn't read the instructions first. So, I mean, how else would it work? But, um, to install seal to carburetor, um, insert threaded part of carburetor into unit receptacle and hand tighten replace back cover. I've heard, you know, that. Tighten it tight, but not too tight. I, I actually hear that quite a bit whenever I... Oh, yeah, you have to go through the bottom. I don't know if I'm showing this, so... So you can see, you go up through the bottom. I've already got this contaminated with my coffee grounds that are all over my car. Um, I make it look kind of harder than it really is, but I imagine it's not too hard. I bet it's actually reverse. Um, Uh, remove fizz and teaser from the bottle by rotating it counterclockwise. So if you remove it by doing it counterclockwise, I guess you must hand tighten it normally. It's not so convoluted reverse twisting action. So I guess it would be clockwise. Wait, counter. Okay, so yes, it is. It's probably counterclockwise to put it on, I guess. And hand tighten. It just says hand tighten. It doesn't say which direction to go. But, uh, okay. Whoa. I think it's already. Hey, what's this we got here? can only fit in there a certain way. I'm not sure if this actually is compatible. It said it was. 
on one end. I might not be pressing down hard enough to be my guess. Fear of breaking stuff. Doesn't look like that's going to fit through that sleeve. I do not see a way for that to happen. said it was compatible so why did I do a live video so you can see me struggling <laughs> it says about this. So I removed this thing that was preventing me from let's see if it works better without that. Maybe that was just there to protect it, I don't know. It's a little plastic piece. Hopefully that doesn't serve like a really important trip to it. Seem like that's in the picture. I don't remember if that was originally on the canister. I don't think so. So okay. Sorry for all the struggle there. That was kind of nonsense on my part. Okay, I'll hand tighten it, but try not to get too much. I think that was just there to protect it. But I did not know what was going on there. So there, I just made that super oh, annoying. Maybe that's why you don't do live videos for reviews. I don't know. But I figured, hey, it's worth the risk. Get to watch me struggle. Figure it out. It might be why it's entertaining. Um, I have learned a, a thing. If I was going to make pop, or soda. Um, at least with the uh, soda stream, you uh, put the water in first. But I think with this, you can actually mix the syrup in the water first if you want. But if I was gonna do the water first, carbonate it, and then pour in the syrup, you'd want to do it. Blocking my own view. Do it at an angle like that, and slowly, and maybe over the sink for the first time. <laughs> but uh. I'm probably going to actually do um, do the apple juice first. I was supposed to dry this, the outside of this. Not that it should really matter, but I'm going to do it. Just because it told me to. Okay. So here's what I have left for apple juice. I don't even think that will fill this up. But you don't have to fill it up, I guess. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how my perspective, or your perspective is. Now there's a fill line here. I don't want to go past that. So I've got to keep that in mind. I don't think it's going to make it to the fill line. But I'm probably just going to pour it back in the apple juice container. So I want to try the pop. Or the cola. Sorry. So there we go. 
we did not quite make it. There's a, I think, I think that's 650 liters I got in there roughly, a little bit over. About, probably more like 700, 700 liters of apple juice. And how do we do this? I barely know what I'm doing. I've never done this. So bear with me. This could be a disaster. Shove it in there. Wow, this is scary. Oh, that can't be right. We twist it. Well, that's almost too easy. You're supposed to twist it. That part I should have checked into a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to do it. And you're supposed to hear some sort of noise when it's done. I think that's the noise. I might try it one more time. I think maybe that was the noise. All right. So it comes off the top. I know I'm supposed to make this look easy, but I'm the person that struggles sometimes. And we're going to be very careful, but I believe you just flip up that silver thing. And it is releasing it slowly. You would not want to release this fast with that pushing that blue thing. I can smell it. it smells good. There. <laughs> the, the silver thing was there. I probably didn't even um, show it good in the video. I'm looking at my laptop from across the room <laughs> to kind of monitor my viewing. I think for the last little bit you can use the blue quick release assuming most of the pressure is already gone which it is and you just unscrew it there which is you know three four threads <laughs> it's not very much but they're kind of deep threads and let's try this I'll try to get this close to the camera See, I don't do reviews very often, you can tell. Oh yeah, that's definitely uh, carbonated. I've heard this carbonates with bigger bubbles or better carbonation than the soda stream. I probably didn't pour it right. I probably should have done the tilt thing, but I want to say who does that, but probably lots of people. All right. Oh yeah, it's carbonated. That's pretty good. Uh, I think the problem with bringing carbonated apple juice to work is they're probably going to wonder if it's beer. <laughs> but they should know better. But... <clears throat> I'm going to sit back down. That is some good apple juice. I've heard you can do this with wines too, or even with coffee. You don't want it to be cold, of course. You don't put hot coffee in it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, this was in the fridge, but it was out probably for maybe 20 minutes before I got it going. Maybe not as cold as it could be. <clears throat> that is definitely carbonate. I keep forgetting to do the tilt thing. At least in my video, I didn't. Like pour in 
soda syrup, and then get it all over my counter. Like, literally, these people's counters just get covered. But that was with the soda stream, but they would do the same thing if you poured in a bunch of, you know, pop syrup, soda syrup, without tilting it and being careful about what you're doing. That is some good stuff. Got my instructions on the floor. So this was what makes it work with the, the uh, juice. I think it's that you can clean it. You can do a, sorry, you can do a quick release or a slow release and a quick release. So I should probably clean that right now. I'll have to do some more research and see if you are supposed to open this somehow. But I don't think you do. I could be wrong about that though. I don't know, should I do, a, do the pop and see how that tastes? So, so folks, <laughs> sorry, tongue tied. So far, I'm impressed with it. I was tempted to get the soda stream, but I thought, you know what? I want to be able to do juice as an option. And, you know, depending on how healthy I want to go. I can do pop too, but even if I do do pop, I can do healthier, you know, varieties. This is 50% less sugar. Um, I wouldn't really recommend diet soda for anybody, but you could have less sugar. Um, wow, I'm enjoying that. That's good. I'm not sure how carbonated this is going to be if I pour this back in here. Probably lose a little bit. I'm not even in the frame, am I? I think that's pretty cool that you can. No, I did order uh, two 0.5 liter bottles, but those won't be arriving for a while. Probably the end of the month. It's February 20th today. I think by the 28th or something. So this is their one liter bottle, but they got some half liter bottles because I mean, who drinks out of, if I want to bring this to work, I don't really want to have to pour it into another um, glass or I don't really want to drink out of it either, but I probably will do one of those two things until I get the smaller bottle. I'm going to put this back in the fridge. Drink the rest of my apple juice and rinse everything out. This is not the standard way to do a review, I know that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be professional really, but uh, I'm not trying to... Uh, do too horribly of a job. Hopefully at least you can hear me. Just like I always pull the video if it sucks horribly bad. As long as you can tell what I'm trying to do and you're willing to be patient to uh, kind of just go with me as I struggle my way through, fumble my way through the first time of using, you know, a product. I do tend to fumble a little bit, but hey, I did not get carbonated beverage all over my countertop, and I've seen that at least on two videos, and again, that was, I think that was the uh, soda stream, but again, it's the same, same concept, same concept. I do not remember if I remember fill my Brita. No, I had it in my head. I needed to do that. So just a tiny bit in my Brita right now. I'm not really prepared for this like it should be, huh? Well, I'm not going to put in just straight from the tap. 
I would have probably a year ago, but once I got my Brita filter, uh, I use it for coffee. And whenever I do drink water, I have to admit it's not very often. I will drink it from the Brita. Maybe if I carbonated water and just added a couple drops of some essential lemon oil or something, maybe then I'd drink it. I admit I'm bad. I don't like I don't like drinking water that much. Um, yeah, it's probably not. I always gotta have something like lemonade like this. I could probably. Uh, I noticed they had. The uh, Soda Stream had a uh, lemonade version, but it's zero calories. Uh, I guess I guess would rather have the uh, lemonade, old time country lemonade, which they do make a, a carbonated version of this. I have it in my fridge, but I was just kind of rambling on here. One thing I don't like about this Brita is it takes a long time for that water to get to there. I do not like that. I suppose I could open up whichever pop I want to use first. Probably would make more sense to do the lemonade, or sorry, the lime, lemon lime, sub seven up Sprite knockoff, but because it's no caffeine. I imagine the cola has a little caffeine, but probably less than Coke or Pepsi. It does not really say how much. Caffeine is in here. Maybe it does, I'm just not seeing it. Keep it room temperature shake before first use. Don't want to forget that. This is funny. I'm probably gonna get ridiculed for doing that. Twist cap. I'll just hopefully I'll just tear that perforation. Do that. I'm just really strong. Ah, uh, what a freaking mess that's gonna be. Let's get rid of this. Maybe I can smell it. The smell like I kind of remember the smell of uh, like Pepsi or Coke syrup at basketball games when we would um, make hamburgers and do concessions and stuff. Hook up the uh, fountain pot machine. Kind of remember that smell. It smells like that. What are the instructions here? And like I said, I doubt if it's drink mate's intention that we buy a soda stream from Walmart. But they did seem to uh, indicate as far as their CO2 canisters that uh, it was compatible with soda stream. Fill a bottle to water line. Fizz water. Fill cap to your desired flavoring level. Now, the drink mate claims that it can recarbonate, you know, flat pop, so I wouldn't see why this couldn't just be pre-mixed. Um, but I imagine even with this uh, patented thing here that makes, that makes it so you can do a slow release, you may still lose some fizz. I'm not really sure, though. And it probably would get stickier. Even though you can clean it, it might be harder to clean. So maybe I will just fill it with water and, and mix the uh, the cola later. I'll probably try it both ways eventually. But, um, oh yeah, that bought me some time. Max fill line. Should I do this? Oh, I see I'm a little bit prepared. Let's, let's rinse out this side. Uh, oh. Let's probably just do this. Be a little bit easier. Oops, my bad. Oh, 
Oh, man. Okay, I think we're ready to uh, pour in some water. This is like the one decent island I have, and I have it cluttered with my stuff. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be cold water, so this probably won't be as good. I mean, it's not warm water, but what? This was just out of the faucet now. It'll carbonate better. If it's cold. There's something I'm already not doing right. At least not 100%. I'm just going to go ahead and replenish the Brita a little bit. I won't get an honest taste test then since this won't be cold. Part of it was cold. Just taking my sweet time here on it. I think I'll throw this back in the fridge. I mean, it feels relatively cold, but it probably should have been taken from the Brita filter that was in the fridge all day. So I'm debating if still if I want to pre-mix this. I know with the soda stream you're absolutely not supposed to do that. With this, it seems like there's an option to pre-mix it. Um, You know, I think it would be easier in some ways. You know what, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to do it. That way I can prove my point. And it's probably less likely to fizz all over my counter if I have the slow release. Now, they mean literally fill this thing up. Fill water to bottle line, fizz water. Fill cap to your desired flavoring level. One liter sweet. It's got some markings here. I wish I would have seen the markings before I started filling it up. I think I see where it's supposed to go. In some ways this makes pop a little more gross <laughs> when you see what it's what's in there. I don't know if I want to try to do that without... I should be able to do that, right? Oh, I kind of did. Yeah, I did. It's like, do I dirty up my funnel or the side of this bottle? Well, it looks like I, I did it okay. I'm not really, I'm blocking the view. I'm creative about getting the last drops out. So I'm going to put this over my sink. That'll give me a visual of what I'm drinking. This is the cola from Soda Stream. But I'm using the drink mate. This could be bad. If I, I'm slightly above the fill line now. Hmm. I better pour some of that out. Uh, I'm already wasting then. It's one thing I didn't account for. There it wasn't very much. Yeah, we do not want to go above that fill line. Okay. So I think I 
rinse this up from the apple juice. Let me give it another rinse real quick. So the last time when I did the apple juice, I think I made it a little bit harder than I needed to be because really what you do is you take this, I'm laying the frame the way I need to be, you take the cap thing and then you, you put it on nice and snug, make sure it's secure, and then you put this on here. But if, even if you do it the wrong way like I did, it still works. So... I don't know if that's already saying it's had enough or not. That's probably saying it's had enough. That's the part I struggle with. There we go. Now you don't want to just... I do know this. You don't want to just... And it's natural just to to uh, turn that off without first releasing the pressure slowly. Once again, that's, that's the silver tab thing, which looks to be, you know, sturdy, but I want to be too careless with it. And then the blue thing's a quick release. I'd be careful about using that. I'll push down now because I'm pretty sure it's all released anyway. It seems to release the pressure relatively fast for being a slow release. We'll set that there. Grab a glass here. Okay. Now again, tilt it. This isn't cold, as cold as it should have been probably, because most of it was tap water that was filtered. Yeah, it tastes like... No, it's not bad. I'm not going to say it tastes like Coke or Pepsi, but it kind of does. I can tell the difference, I think. <laughs> it's a little unfair comparison though right now, because I forgot to fill my bread up in the morning. It was on my mind, but I was making coffee and I was trying to get out the door to go to work. And it was just one of the things that slipped my mind, knowing this would be the exact scenario that I'd be using the uh, drink mate with water that was, wasn't as cold as it could be. But yeah, that's pretty good for tap water cold um, cola. I'm going to put the cap on this. I think really you're supposed to... You can drink it right away, but I think you're supposed to um, put these sorts of things in the fridge, sort of let them, I don't know, they get a little better with just a maybe half hour in the fridge or something, 20 minutes. I've heard that. I'm going to do that now, so I'm probably not going to want to drink too much more pop. Kind of late for that. I just wanted to try it out. You know, it says it's half as much sugar here in the soda stream bottle. There is sort of a, I don't know if you call it aftertaste, sort of, where it kind of tickles your tongue with the sugary flavor. Even though it's half as much sugar, there's kind of a, the way it pronounces that sugar that's more noticeable. Maybe it's not quite as balanced. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just not cold enough. Um, it's definitely not bad because I think you buy certain off-brands of cola 
but that's not you know very good but. now I might have to do a little more research on exactly what sound this makes when it says it's done I think I think I sort of recognize it. I just want to be a little more certain I'm sort of a rebel. I'll probably just try it again, <laughs> make sure I get enough carbonation. But I don't want to waste the, the canister. <clears throat> now with the uh, soda stream canister <clears throat> or cylinder, you buy it at Walmart. You know, you can go back to Walmart. I think Bed Bath & Beyond too. You can get a refill for much less. I forget what the price would be. I'm guessing, could be totally wrong, 11 or 12 bucks for the refill. Not really a refill, it's more like an exchange. Um, just get a new one for the old. But. I still haven't really tasted this because I know when it's cold it's going to be a lot better. So maybe I'll try it in maybe half a glass, maybe in an hour. See what it tastes like then. But uh, yeah, that was. I actually think I may have enjoyed the apple juice a little bit more because that was cold <clears throat> and that does make a difference I think and even how well it carbonates it too but uh, I'll probably wrap that up maybe there's a few things I could see if there's anything in the instructions it looks like I have a couple of things here I overlooked this maybe my packing slip Well, they don't like to return these things because of the canister, but remember, I bought this without the canister, so if I wanted to return it, I think I, I could do that. Oh, I didn't see this. Thank you for your purchase of a drink, mate. Ready for CO2? Have $15 on us. Go to idrinkproducts.com and select CO2 supplies or scan our QR code an offer probably I'm guessing it would probably be sorry probably be I'm not sure if it's specific to their brand or not but I, I bought the canister before I bought this and it's kind of pointless now because I can get the uh, replacement uh, for probably a lot cheaper <sighs> warranty card somewhere there were instructions what did I do with those I'm really rambling now oh here's the instruction I'll just thumb through this really quick see if there's anything that might be of interest so this was called the Fizz Infusion Adapter. And if you didn't notice it before, it's, it's got a quick or a slow release, and then the blue would be a quick release. But again, you want to be really careful about that quick release. So this was kind of the magic that kind of separates it from the Soda Stream a bit, quite a bit actually. I'm going to clean that a little more. Well, that tap water actually is pretty cold, but it would be, still be a lot colder if that water would have been in the fridge. Oh, how's that supposed to dry? It's like... It might have been better had I filled it up with water and, and poured in the syrup after it was carbonated. Carefully pour in the syrup.
stop carbonating when a discharge sound is heard. I probably didn't follow that real good. Here's maybe something of interest. For low foaming beverages, fill up to max fill line and use longer bursts. Stop carbonating. I already said that. Stop carbonating when a discharge sound is heard. For high foaming beverages, fill the bottle halfway and carbonate using short bursts. Like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> Clean the carbonating unit, wipe with a damp cloth, do not immerse unit in water. Do not use any solvents or abrasive cleaner since this could damage the surface. Empty CO2 carbonators may be exchanged for a full carbonator at any participating drink mate retailer for the cost of gas refill only. Drinkmate accepts all standard 60 liter cylinders on the market. So that definitely would include um, soda stream for sure, which I already demonstrated. Uh, make sure to wash fizz infuser. That's the, this, uh, where did I do with that? <clears throat> I wanted to demonstrate that. I already lost track of it. Oh, I put it in the dry thing. Make sure to wash fizz infuser after every use under running water. The fizz infuser allows you to carbonate non-water based beverages because it can both slowly relieve pressure and can be easily cleaned. This is especially important if foam came out of the valve during use. So I may want to get to cleaning that. Use the coldest beverages possible, like 33 degrees to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I'll probably end this video. Thanks for watching me. Um, I know it was a bit of a struggle at certain points for me to figure things out, especially uh, getting in the uh, canister or cylinder, CO2 cylinder, because this handy thing was blocking it. I do believe that was just there to uh, protect it. Um, I could check into that further, but so far everything seems to be okay. All right, my laptop's over here. I will end the video. Hope you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.